Welcome to the ABC of Waterproofing. I'm Nati Smith from Atlas Roofing. Today we are doing a demonstration and a small um, intro into the waterproofing system called Rubberized Bitumen, a product that is probably the oldest waterproofing system known to man. Uh, rubberized Bitumen was formerly known as Pitch and was used by Noah uh, when he painted the Ark. Um, so it's a very old system used by the Romans uh, to build viaducts in their era when their, um, when their empire was so big. And then also um, a versatile product uh, to be used as a pruning grade when you do pruning on your trees. Um, so yes, very, very uh, many applications. So on the board we have, um, a by demonstration, quickly just going to do a small application uh, on the board. Uh, first coat is a very thick, thick coat. Um, <clears throat> and uh, onto a primed surface and then uh, the membrane is placed into that very thick coat some guys use the brush to uh, punch it through to make sure the membrane is um, saturated from the bottom some people use a fluted aluminium roller and the essence is that the membrane needs to be saturated from the bottom up so um, once this coat is dried or turned completely black, you do another two coats as top coats. Um, and uh, once those two coats are dry, you have a very good waterproofing system. So I'd like to go through the board quickly. Um, almost always use a membrane with the rubberized bitumen because the movement ability of the product is limited and um, the membrane assists with the reinforcement so we use a polyester membrane uh, like the one we have on the board here and your total usage is 2.1 liters per square meter the correct primer for the correct substrate very important metal uses different primers to uh, porous surfaces and the product is not uv stable very important always needs to be top coated if, for instance, used as a waterproofing system on a roof. However, um, as a product used in koi ponds, um, normally it's not top coated. The product is not harmful to the environment or animals or humans. And it's mostly used for these three applications, koi ponds, counter flashings and underground vertical waterproofing, especially in cavity walls. Uh, which in South Africa is used at the, coast, at the coastal region. I would like to refer you to the ABC of waterproofing on acrylic liquids, also similar to this application. And I would also like to refer you back to the South African National Code, the SANS Code 021 of 2006, which is the backbone of our waterproofing uh, training course. And um, you can also visit us on atlasroofing.co.za. Marty Smith signing off. Thank you.